Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to unbox, set up, and review the Tekkers Bluetooth keyboard that we sourced on Amazon. A couple of things about this. We don't know anything about this company. Tekkers, T-E-C-U-R-S, never heard of them before. This keyboard is labeled here as the KB566. However, there are lots of other companies marketing what appears to be the identical product. Uh, one is from Acolarid, A-C-O-L-A-R-I-D. Another one from Tohokata, T-O-H-A-K-A-T-A. -A -A. And um, the bottom line is, this I think is just a generic uh, component that a lot of people stick their, brand, uh, their brands on. What we're trying to do is get a mobile device, in this case, a Samsung S20 FE Fan Edition, to function with an external monitor like this one. This is an Ignok 16 inch external monitor that we reviewed a couple of days ago. That review, if you're interested, we'll put a link in the top right hand corner. Bottom line, I wouldn't worry about the brand. So let's get to unboxing this and seeing how this works. All right, there's the box. There's always somebody that wants to see what's on the box. There's nothing on the edges, so you know everything that I know. So the most interesting thing about this product is that it is spec for Apple. Nowhere does it mention Samsung or Android, anywhere. But I'm very confident it will work with Android. So let's go over a couple of the specs. It's a seven color backlit Bluetooth keyboard with an equivalent mouse. It's ultra thin. I can give you the weight, but it doesn't weigh anything. So who cares? It's ultra thin. I give you the spec, but who cares? It's crazy thin. It's a 78 key keyboard, so it's got everything but a number pad. Yes, it has numbers along the top and functions, but not a number pad on the right side. Both of these products have lithium batteries built in, so you do not have to replace the batteries. Some of the numbers. Uh, this thing lasts for about three months on a single charge, can run for 40 hours without the backlight, and can run, I think it is for three or four hours with the backlight on in heavy use. There's the little manual and the off chance there's something there that you see that looks interesting. Okay, so let's power this on. There it is, it's on, it's changing colors, isn't that nice? I know there's a way to change the colors and we'll figure that out in just a second. Let's turn the mouse on, there it is. And what we wanna do now is put this in pairing mode. So I'm going to, going to press connect up here, hold it for a second. Look, even the mouse is going, that's great. Now, let's swipe down from the top on our Samsung Galaxy device and there's Bluetooth keyboard, yay! Pair, Bluetooth mouse, pair, and let's just see if it works. Look at that, it works great. Now what's interesting about this is that the documentation, including the manual, only discusses Apple. But this is just Bluetooth, so of course it works with everything. So even though it says Apple, yeah, it's not Apple, it's everything. So these screenshots, just ignore them. This is all happy. So here we have the Ignok 16 inch screen. We're just gonna plug it in to our phone. Samsung DeX is going to start and bingo. The problem is you can't control it, right? Well, you can now because of this cool little keyboard and mouse. Look at this. So now this phone, which is pretty much any Samsung Galaxy uh, had and a lot of other Samsungs as well, um, S22s, S23s, uh, the new S24 is coming out shortly. Um, they just plug in and with this keyboard and this uh, Ignok 16 inch monitor, you got a full Chromebook. Okay, so now we've had some fun. Let's show you how to uh, turn the light on and off. Shocker, you press the light button. And to change the colors, well, you press the RGB button. And you can see it just changes colors. Isn't that nice? I'm gonna turn it off for a moment here. There we go. So what would we say in total as a review for the Tekkers, T-E-C-U-R-S, Bluetooth keyboard? What do we like about it? Well, we like the backlight. We like that it changes colors. We wouldn't pay extra for that, but we do like it. Um, the feel of the keyboard is actually pretty good. It doesn't have a number pad, but you know that going in. It's incredibly thin, so that's great. Um, the battery seems good, although we weren't able to find a charge time on it, so we don't know how long it's going to take to charge. We're just going to let it sit overnight. We're sure that'll be enough. We also like the design. It has this little bump uh, on the edges here, which will stop the keyboard from getting crushed when you're shipping. So when it's in your laptop bag or whatever else, this may keep other flat surfaces from 
from smashing into it and just crushing this thing. So that's a good thing. We also like the price. We paid about $40 Canadian, so for easy math, low 30s US, 3132 US, something like that. What we don't like about it? Well, really just one thing is uh, is the, the main issue, and that again is the USB port. They've chosen micro USB, which is fine, but you know, just not a good choice. Another thing that's um, a bit off is that uh, this is sold under a lot of different brands and there doesn't seem to be a primary brand. So just because we said it's the Techers doesn't mean that you wouldn't buy the Akalarid or the Tohakata one. And so that makes this whole conversation a bit convoluted because you're not really sure what product we're talking about. Now, just a quick note that the difference between the one we're reviewing and some of the ones we were showing there is a uh, backlit keyboard. So a lot of those are not backlit keyboards, which are why they're cheaper. But you can see it's plainly the same device. Now, probably the last thing we didn't like is that they didn't even mention Android. And, you know, the logic for doing that is because it has the Apple key as opposed to, say, the Windows key. Okay, but we're not using that under either of those operating systems. We're using it with Android. So you think they would at least mention Android. But no, it's all iPhone this, iPad that, and iOS all over the place. But it is a tiny bit off-putting that they don't even mention it'll work with the other things. You can see here the little Apple key. So, hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps with the Google algorithms. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.